Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody from South Africa emailed me this picture when she before she sent it. She said she was trying to do a photograph from her phone, and it really concerned me. But if you can see, this is a rather large photograph and pretty high resolution and pretty clear and pretty sharp. So I thought I'd show how I did it, and I've actually sent her the file. I'm using a program called Photograve, and I've done several videos on that, and then she even asked where she could purchase it, and you can go to photograve.com. I am not promoting this product, even though I love this product and I use this product all the time to do photographs. I mainly work with wood, or with granite instead of wood. I'm not that great on wood. But we need to resize this photograph, and I just realized I've got something behind there. So I'm going to delete it real quick. So we've got this photograph, and it's large. And she, she told me she wanted it 300 millimeters by 200 millimeters. And as, just to let you know, there's nothing up here to change your millimeters because I'm checked on something. I've so selected something. So here you can change it to millimeters right here. But we don't really need to do that because we're going to do it inside the the uh, resample. So we're going to select on our product, go to bitmap, resample, and right here you can change it to millimeters. And we want to change this, and I always suggest making it a little bit larger. She wanted 300, so we're going to go 305. That way it'll run off your wood and won't have a blank spot. And then we're going to change this to at least 300 dot per inch. Hit OK. Then we want to go back to bitmap and go down to mode and change it to a gray scale. And as you can see, it's already done it. And that's what it looked like. So now we need to open up Photograve, open our image, and I called it dog email. And we actually want to open this um, one that says gray two. Because we, we want to open a JPEG. Photograve needs a JPEG. So it's going to load the image. Then we're going to select the material. She wanted it on pine, which I've never done before. And I don't, uh, I'm not questioning her res resources, but I'm going to say Baltic birch. I mainly do black granite. That's one thing nice about Photograve. They've got a, quite a big list of things you could use. But I'm going to select Baltic birch. And I'm going to put OK. Now we can go resize it just inside here, and you can just double check and see we've actually changed it a little bit. So let's make this 305. The 300 dots per inch are still going to work. We actually need to make this 300. Put OK. Then all you have to do is go to Final Process. Now there is an interactive mode that you can play around with at a later time that you can really make things different. I've used them on buildings before. We go to final process and it's going to save it and it's going to kind of give you a preview of what it's going to look like on the wood which is pretty cool it gives you the the tint and everything and with the grains of this wood this might be a really good photograph to do save the image you save it as an engraved and print ok i'm going to call it and it's going to have the e e n g r initials i've already got it saved so then you just go back to Corel and you import that image. You can see it right down there. I've imported dog2 email, dog gray2. Now, and then you would just put it up your top left corner of your laser and run it. But you're going to waste a piece of wood if that did not work very good for you. I'm, I, don't, I don't have very good luck with wood. I, do, I can do this photograph on tile in... Of course, you would change the parameter because the, the tile is black and it makes your dots reverse. But I'm going to show you how you could test this without wasting a large piece of wood. So stay tuned for part two of this. Hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.